good morning welcome back to my channel i'm nicole i have just done some grocery shopping i am at this spud shed at the moment i've just put all my shopping in the car and i'm about to head home and unpack it all and then i'm going to pop down to audi i've got a few things on my list i'm saying like this with hesitation because i'm gonna i know i'm gonna buy lots of stuff that i really don't need but i'm gonna try my best not to <laughs> but i did a good shop here um the produce was pretty good this week didn't buy a real lot but it was pretty fresh with what i saw and yeah the stuff that i did grab was pretty good and i have two woolworths online orders to pick up tomorrow i've got two because i did one from last week's catalog cut off tuesday night and then the new specials for the week when they started wednesday today's thursday so i did another order and i put that through this morning so i've got the specials for both the weeks um but yeah let's get home and get this unpacked i'll do my cold stuff first so i can pop it away before i run down to aldi um the spot shed had these family pizzas sausage sizzle what's called dollar 99 they were so i grabbed four of them for the weekend i grabbed this big bag of frozen wedges these are beautiful from this budget two and a half kilo bag 5.99 they've still got all their steggles um well they were two for ten but they had in that section they had the chicken nuggets chicken burgers the tenders the plain ones or the sweet chili ones so and they're normally six bucks each to so save two dollars for buying like that and we love having chicken tender wraps and the kids like nuggets and stuff obviously so and I picked up some chicken, same, I usually pick up chicken from there, it's always really cheap. The chicken thighs are only 9 99 a kilo, so this is 1.8 kilos. And this is 8 99 a kilo for chicken breast, and this is, yeah, 1.5 kilos. So I'll pop them in the fridge and I'll sort them out later. I got some frozen sardines. These are for my poochies, really good for them. And I've got some mints marked down. Um, what's this? Best before 22nd. So that is yesterday. Or Thursday, today. Oh, it's 22nd today. I keep thinking tomorrow's 23rd. Oh, it is the 23rd tomorrow. I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, so this was marked down from $18.15 to $14.52 and it's one and a half kilos. I'm just going to make some meatballs up with these and I've got a meal that I want to do with them. Just a dump and go crock pot meal. And I've got some porterhouse steak marked down, down from $29.25 down to $21.94. And there's just under a kilo there, so that's pretty good value. Fresh produce, I picked up some red capsicums. I've got five, these are really nice. They were $6.99 a kilo. I've got a few cauliflowers. I want to do one for a roast and the other one I'm going to do some more cauliflower rice. I absolutely loved that during the week. And they had strawberries. So these are only $1.99 a punnet. And they're really nice. I'm really happy with what they look like. So I've got four of those. They are $3.50. Yeah, we're losing that at the moment, so pretty pretty good price. I got some brown onions to kilo bag. I got a bok choy that was ninety nine cents. I think the onions were a dollar fifty. Um, I got a pumpkin that's got a dent in it. That's no drama. Um, yeah, it was either ninety nine cents a kilo whole or a dollar ninety nine. Yeah, or two dollars a kilo. So I got a whole one of them. I got a six pack of kiwi fruit. They were two dollars. Carrot, a kilo uh, bag of carrots was 69 cents. They had marked down bread. Um, I got, yeah, got some good bargains again. We got some more of these dinner rolls down to $2. And there's like 12 in there or maybe more. I can't see how many is in there because of the covered up label. Three, six, nine, 12, yeah, 12. And I've just been putting like, we had spaghetti bolognese the other night and I just, cut them and I put some beautiful garlic butter in them and yeah that was so good so they'll go in a ziplock bag in the freezer to save from getting like 
frostbite. I got cans of beans, four chickpeas, four black beans, and I got two of the Bolotti beans. They were 79 cents a tin, so that was a pretty good price. And I got six loaves of white bread there, they're $1.29 each. They had my hamburger buns were on special for $4.99, so that was good. And then I've got all these marked downs. So I've got these nice pepper rolls, and they're still really soft and beautiful. So these are normally $1.79 down to 90 cents. Some knot rolls, $1.80 down to 90 cents. And this continental loaf was two bucks down to a dollar. I thought I'd make some nice French toast with that one. And I even got these cheesy bacon bread, bread roll things that the kids love. And they were three fifty down to a dollar eighty. They also had these chickpea baked crisps, sriracha and yuzu. I don't know what that is, but they were ninety nine cents. So I thought, why not give them a go? They're only new, they're gluten free. I'm guessing being chickpea peas that they're healthy. I didn't even look because I just thought they would be saturated two point one per servings. 81 calories. And there's five serves in the bag. There's quite a lot in there, so it wouldn't be a bad serve. This kind of thing's best off. Lock your section up in Ziploc bags and just keep them ready to go so you don't just sit there and devour the whole packet. And I spent 161 and 60 cents at the spud shed, and I have already added to the board all the meat and that that we'll be having making meals out of and everything else that's there so I can just look and it's just a no-brainer so all right I'm gonna pop some of this in the fridge quickly and then I'm gonna go to Aldi so this is the thing that I don't like when you go shopping at all different shops you get somewhere and you find something cheaper Four seventy nine a kilo instead of six bucks so I'm gonna get a few more actually because I'm absolutely loving capsicums at the moment. I'll see if I can get some good ones to do some stuffed capsicums one night for dinner. It's so good. Just packed all the shopping in the boot. And the best part is it doesn't take two hours to get home. <laughs> oh my god. I spent a lot of shopping this fortnight, but as I said previously, from this pay onwards, yeah, I'm just gonna do the use what you got thing and get it right down but in saying that i was just saying the checkout check then too it's good just like having having extra stuff and like yeah you your stockpile you know i don't like to have a separate pantry for it but um yeah i'll um show you later my pantry is looking pretty good So I've unpacked all my stuff, I've got my docket here, so if there's anything that I don't normally buy, I can tell you how much it is. And same as usual, I'm going to do my cold stuff first, so I can pop it in the fridge or freezer or wherever it needs to go. So here's a quick little view of everything that I got. It is quite a big shop. But starting down this end... I got a kilo of shortcut bacon. I got some turkey mince, two of those are 500 grams each. I got some more mince. We use a lot of mince and I want to make some meatballs, like I said before, so grab some extra. I got myself a few whole chooks. These are only $2.99 a kilo. So one whole chook, it's like $5.30. So, so cheap. So that'll be a roast for the weekend, I reckon, on Sunday. Sounds good. And I've got some polonies, two packs of those. Hutto loves polonies, sangers. Well, all the kids do, but Hutto especially, I think, just because he's a little. Uh, corned beef, silver side. That's another good thing to cook up for lunches for during the week for hubby and the kids. Uh, picked up some more of these little squishy vanilla yogurts. My youngest bloke loves those in his lunchbox. Got some thickened cream. It's not for anything in particular, it's just to have it on hand. Um, I got some more cottage cheese. This one was marked down. I've been loving cruskets with cottage cheese, avocado and tomato. Oh my god, so beautiful. And I got the dogs some of these dog roll food. These are $4.99. Um, three kilos, so pretty good. 
value. I'll mix that in with some rice and some veggies and stuff for them. And I was just checking my receipt to see how much they were and I got ripped off. I'm going to check my receipt. I should have checked it there because they got, I got charged for three white wraps, large wraps, but I only, only grabbed two, so that really annoys me. But anyway, yeah, moving on, I got some light, tasty shredded cheese, that's like for myself, some of the light slices. I've got this hummus, again, I stopped buying this because it is made with canola oil. Um... But we really like it, so I've got stuff that I'm just going to buy it. And it's cheap, like five bucks for the kilo tub. A couple of cartons of eggs as well, 700 gram ones, cage free. I've got some, oh, that's not cold. I've got some of these little pies to pop in the freezer for dessert one night. I bought some of these the other night for when it was my son's birthday. And Hardo, my youngest boy's like, the next night, can we have dessert again tonight? I'm like, no. And he's like, that's sad. <laughs> So yeah, got them, and they're so cheap. They're only two ninety nine for the four pack, so it's pretty good. And I got three three liter milks as well. Um, but yeah, that's it for my cold bit. So I'll just quickly pop that away, and then I'll show you what's going to be in the rest of my shopping haul. Moving on to the rest of my groceries, I got a box of the one liter skim milks for myself. And I got some of these vegetable straws. My young bloke likes those. I'll get some little Ziploc bags and divvy them up in there so they'll be ready to go. I also got some of the, like the CC's chips or corn chips. They'll be for one of the meals for the fortnight. Will be nachos. The kids love when I do nachos. And I bought some of these too. I've never seen these before. Chopped fudge muffin bars. Um, pretty good value. These were two ninety nine, so there's six in here, and it's two forty grams. And these morning breaks that I buy, these were the same price, and there's only five in here, and it's only one hundred twenty five grams. So you're pretty much getting double the amount for the same price. So we'll see how. Probably um, goes with them, see if he likes them and see if the kids like them as well. I didn't look at the stats of them because I wasn't going to eat them. But where do we got? Saturated 1.2 and 142 calories are actually not too bad at all. Carbs, if you're one of those people who follows your carbs, there's 22 grams, which is probably a lot, I'd say. Um, some stock cubes, just chicken flavoured. I've got some cans of tomatoes and I needed more coconut milk. So I got just full fat coconut milk and two of the light coconut milk. I love my curries. And I got a six pack of moo milk. These have gone up in price. They used to be $3, but they're about $3.30 now. Um, I've noticed that since COVID sort of has hit that a lot of these sorts of things have gone up in price. Even bottled water and that, as you'd know. Uh, butter popcorn, I've got 10 of those. You get the extra butter one. Everyone in the house loves those. Pasta, i got two packets of the rigatoni and i got the spirals and a penne pasta. And they had these Tim Tams, big family pack, 365 grams and 20 biscuits in here. They were 279, these are the last two, so grab them for the family. And dried mango I haven't had for a while. Thought I'd get some of that. Same, well, everyone likes it, but young bloke, he really enjoys those. There are my wraps. They'll be used for either chicken tender wraps or burritos. I always like to have them on hand in my pantry. And I've got some pasta sauces. There's another one here. So I've got picked up four of them this fortnight. I've got some breadcrumbs and I also got some garlic naan bread as well. Some English muffins for breakfast. And the Mee Goreng noodles are really cheap in there. They're $1.49 for a five pack. So I've got two of them for the kiddies. Got some couscous. I've got some more of the little teddy tots. The kids love those. They're only $2.50 for a 10 pack. So cheap. And what do we got? Salsa. I've got two of the mild ones. I've got two more tomato paste. They're like $1.25 for that big jar. So it's pretty good. Cheese spread as well, another one of those. And I also got this pesto to try. I've tried 
uh, pesto from like Woolworths before and it wasn't too exciting. The one that was this sort of flavour was actually quite nice. It was nicer than the basil sort of one. Um, so yeah, this is nice. You just mix it through some cooked pasta as a side dish. Really good. So I'm looking forward to trying that. See if it's nice. Got some lentils. Um, yeah, you saw I had the other ones from Spudger. So I don't really need that many from there. Got some brown sugar. Some more washing liquid. Dishwashing liquid as well. And I got some more of this antibacterial laundry sanitizer it's about three dollars fifty for the bottle which i thought was a little bit expensive but it's not too bad because the nappy sand not nappy sand uh what brand is it well woolies sell uh one and it's about seven dollars so this is pretty much half price and i got a few more fabric softener pouches um that's just my loaf of bread I did buy two of those last one. I've still got a full one in there, but yes, yeah, so I've been making my way through the other one and hubby as well. And fresh produce is my last bit on the corner here. I've got two packets of the mandarins. These were $2.99 for the kilo bag, so I've got two of those. I've got a few zucchinis. I was looking at those in the spud shed. They were $1.70 each. They're probably a little bit bigger than these ones. These ones were $1.50 each, so it's not too bad. Um, and I got some grape tomatoes, and I just saw in store I bought the capsicums. There's a bit back here on the bottom. And I made sure all of them could stand up so I can do stuffed capsicums. I was thinking of doing these with the same mix as I do in my burritos. I thought that'd be really good, nice and filling with the rice as well. And my last thing was my nanas. So it's a pretty good shop. Looking forward to planning out my meals for the week my total for Aldi was $270.98 so quite a bit but if I had just bought all that same stuff at Woolworths it would have cost me oh my god so much more like it's so much more expensive um yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna leave the vlog here for now and I'll do a Woolworths grocery haul tomorrow once I pick up my two orders that I've done so give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.